Okay, listen up. <laughs> to share your location fast, go to iMessages and type I'm at. Then click the space button and you'll get a current location button right above the keyboard. No more scrolling and screenshotting for long web pages. You've got them all with one click only. Make a screenshot as usual, and when you see a page icon in the lower left corner, tap it. Switch from screen to full page mode. Click done, and now you can save PDF to files. Smart! You can take a screenshot on your iPhone by just tapping twice with your finger on the back of the phone. Go to Accessibility, Touch, Back Tap. You can apply it for various options, such as a screenshot, mute, home, lock screen, and many others. Also, your phone features a triple tap, which has the same range of functions. You can save time looking for a website. Just hold the period button and you'll see plenty of shortcuts .com, .org, and many others. Camera Roll doesn't only store your lovely golden retriever photos. Tap Select in the upper right corner and then tap any photo you need. In the lower left corner, you'll see a square with an arrow. Go for it. Scroll down and see what you can do. Duplicate it, use as wallpaper, or even hide from prying eyes. Another way to hide a pic is to cut it to the minimum size. When you need it back, just revert it to the original. Now, don't freak out, you guys. Go to Settings, Privacy, Location Services, scroll down, tap System Services, and choose Significant Locations. Your phone knows not only where you live, but also where you work, where your favorite supermarket is, and other places you visit frequently. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, just turn it off. To copy any text, highlight it and swipe three fingers. To paste it to some other document, swipe three fingers again. Now, if you're wondering who you should swipe those three fingers from, then we'll need to talk after class. To select several messages in your mail, swipe with two fingers. Okay, this one's really fast. No more scanning apps required. Tap and hold the notes icon and choose Scan Document. Take a photo and now you can save it as a PDF. You can make it in color or black and white. Just check the settings above. The note drawings can be nice and smooth even if you don't have a stylus. When you finish your drawing, hold it for a second with your finger. iPhone will automatically make it look better. No more curved lines. To set a timer, tap and hold the timer button, the one you see when you swipe up and see the fast access menu. You'll see the time scale you need to slide. The only drawback is that you can set a timer for no less than a minute and no more than two hours. The same works with a flashlight. Tap and hold this button to adjust the brightness. You can unlock your iPhone with a code, your face, or even your voice. Tap your face three times with the phone. No wait, I'm kidding. Go to Accessibility and tap the voice control. Then go for Customize Commands. Click Create a New Command and type any phrase you want to use as a passcode. I use, heh, what else, Brightside. Click Run Custom Gesture and tap on a place your passcode would be at. Whenever I say Brightside, my phone unlocks. When you type an iMessage, flip your phone and tap the button in the lower right corner, the one right next to the microphone one. It has a nice cursive icon. Now you can send handwritten notes to your friends. To make your music sound better, go to Music, EQ, and select Late Night. Now you don't need those pricey headphones with noise cancellation. Make a shortcut for your email to save time typing it. Go to Settings, General, Keyboards, and select Text Replacement. Tap the plus button and type your email or whatever other long phrase you frequently use. Make any shortcut, two question marks for example, and you're good to go. The newest iPhones have a super convenient feature that is helpful when you need to go from one application to another. Look at that line at the bottom of the screen. Slide left or right and find the app you need. No more double-clicking and notification center. Hey, we're all used to messengers, but iMessages are fun! Press the send button to add different wow effects to your message. 
The bubble section has four features. Invisible ink makes it impossible to read the message unless you wipe it with a finger. Slide the finger from right to left and back to kind of clear it. With a gentle effect, the letters seem really tiny at the start, but then they grow larger. The loud effect, vice versa, makes them pop at the start so they appear way larger, but the size goes back to normal in a few seconds. The slam effect speaks for itself. The message literally slams the screen. Tap the right button called the screen effect. It's fun too. For example, it has echo effects, so your friend's screen's gonna be overwhelmed with echoing texts. Slide right for more. Spotlight, balloons, confetti, love, lasers, fireworks, shooting star, and even celebration! With iMessages, you can pin up to 9 message threads to keep the most frequently used contacts at the top of the list. You can also mention people in conversations to direct a message to some particular member in the group or filter unknown senders. Make your life brighter and get a bright side tea. Pick your own print, just follow the link below. The Notify Me section in the Messages allows you to get notifications in messages whenever you're mentioned, even if you muted the conversation. It's great if most of your chats are muted. You won't miss important messages, but you won't have to filter through tons of stuff you don't need. The iPhone font has different sizes. To make it bigger or smaller, go to the Display and Brightness section in the Settings. Tap the text size and adjust it the way you like iPhones may not have the most durable batteries, but they beat everyone when it comes to photo quality. Turn on the grid in the camera settings. Go to General, choose Camera, to enable the grid. It can help you make better compositions in the photo. One of the most frequent problems of all iPhone users is when you run out of memory. Even if you delete the photos, there's still not enough space. Go to Settings, iPhone Storage, and make sure recently deleted photos are actually deleted. Huh. If not, delete them in the storage sections. If you live in a cold place and your iPhone keeps turning off whenever it's chilly outside, go to Settings, Battery, and check the battery health. If it's less than 85%, well, you might want to change the battery. You can easily improve battery life now. First, you can limit your widget usage. Try not to add too many widgets and limit the use of those requiring a lot of data to keep the info up to date. Also, you can automate the low power mode at a certain battery percentage. Go to Automation, hit the plus button, and create a new automation setting. Widgets on iOS 14 can be merged together. Just put one widget on another just like any other app icon when you want to place them in one folder. To see the widget hidden underneath, just scroll the upper widget up. Voila! It saves a lot of space and time. If the mobile data connection isn't too good, airplane mode might come in handy. Turn it on and wait 5 to 10 seconds to get a better internet connection. If it's 3G, it'll become LTE. Also, if you charge your phone with airplane mode on, it'll charge about 15% faster. To make the video quality on your iPhone better, go to Settings, Camera, Formats. Choose High Efficiency Camera Capture. Then go back to the menu, record video, and choose 1080, 30 frames per second. There are now automatic suggestions for the Home app. Also, it can now adjust the color temperature throughout the day. Another cool feature is face recognition. It can even recognize someone who's at your doorbell if you have this person in people saved in photos. If you tap the uppercase button twice, you'll get a caps lock. Many letters also have hidden symbols. If you hold your finger on a button, you'll see them. Now you can type in any exotic language respecting all the characters. If you accidentally deleted that long message you've been trying to write, just shake your phone. It'll activate the undo typing function. There may be really few viruses for iPhone, but you're never protected from juice jacking. If you don't want to be the one whose data accidentally leaked, public chargers are a no-go. Airport, cafe, public transport, you name it. It concerns only the USB chargers. A good old adapter won't let you down.